classically French tale of Cyrano required designs that captured the romanticism and emotions of the story. Noted scenic and costume designer John Pascoe is brought on board. Uh, so I tried to focus on creating a visual world that would reflect the romance of the story and the period in which it's originally set. And, and it, it's, for me, Cyrano is uh, one of the stories that you cannot update because it's a, a story about the power of the word. Telling that story on a three-dimensional scale took the work of hundreds of skilled craftspeople and thousands of hours of work. The experts at Ravenswood Studio in Chicago constructed sets for the production. Uh, with, with any opera, uh, opera scenery is very big. Uh, a lot of the challenges uh, revolve around how to, how to get it to move around the stage and go together and be uh, engineered in a way that it's safe and uh, goes together quickly. So there's a lot more work involved in the back side of the scenery that uh, most people don't see uh, as opposed to uh, the scenery part of it that, that is seen. Uh, you know, grand opera is that. It, it's grand. The scenery is huge. Uh, one of the things that I will have to deal with as I'm looking at this and seeing the scenery built and how big it actually is, is how many crew members it's going to take to put together, how many crew it's going to take to move during the performance itself, and hope that the guesses we made a year ago pan out to be somewhat near reality. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot of scenery. Michigan Opera Theater is the lead company, uh, which means that we get the joy of, of, uh, of uh, creating it and, and the creative process and the input on it. Uh, the other companies help financially support it. Uh, they also have a, a, a stake then in that production. Uh, they can put it on without a rental fee at their theater. But it, it creates a responsibility for me to make sure, as I said, that it fits in their spaces as well as my space. And Philadelphia has a, has a beautiful old theater, but a much smaller storage space than we do in Detroit. Uh, I have much less concern. Miami has a brand new, very large space. So they're, they're going to fit. If it fits in my space, it'll fit in their space without a problem. Costumes also help set the visual world of Cyrano. Designing costumes is really about visualizing people. What you need to think about is to just allow yourself to know who these people are. And designing is very, very similar to the kind of experience that most of us have, though not all I understand, but most of us have. If I say a word to, to you, if I say grandmother, probably you now have an image of grandmother in your mind. And what the designer's job consists of is to be able to realize the image that one has in one's head when whatever that word is that's spoken. Costume production happens at the Michigan Opera Theater. It's a massive first-time commission for the costume studio. So for Cyrano, we will be building 167 costumes using 200, over 200 fabrics, brocades, taffetas, satins, colors, shades, embroidered, you name it, and then trims on top of all of that. The fabric came from Haberman Fabrics, which is um, my favorite source for fabrics in the local area. And over the course of time, we've developed a fabulous working relationship with the Habermans. And for this particular project, in celebration of their 50th anniversary, they're donating all the fabric that we're using to the project as an anniversary gift to Detroit. Cyrano has taken, on average, 10 people working full time, uh, approximately eight months of 40 hours a week worth of work. And we're still going strong. As we get closer to the opening of Cyrano, we're moving up into the world of fittings. We have 96 fittings to do in a couple of weeks. And in the fittings, it's not just about making sure the costume fits well and looks good in our eyes. It's making sure that the performer feels good and looks good and that there's nothing that will impede their performance. And an artist doesn't feel well unless they feel well in their costume. It even goes beyond how things look. You're supporting this character, the costume of course is, and it's very much a part of the essence of the, the character in the show too that is at stake.